Good morning, Tubers. How are you all doing out there? So I'm still playing the division and absolutely loving it. What this video is going to be about, though, is a very quick video explaining what the Dark Zone is, how to get into it, and what to expect from it. So, begin with, on the map, you can see this big red patch right in the middle of Manhattan. And is it Manhattan or Brooklyn? <laughs> Whichever bit we're in, I forget. Um, and this is the Dark Zone. As you can see, it is split into five different, six different sections, sorry all with different level caps so as you can see these are um, as you progress up north they actually get harder and harder if you progress up north you will come across harder bosses harder bosses will give you better loot better amounts of phoenix credits all that kind of stuff so once you hit level 30 go into the dark zone start farming this is the place to be doing it as well as your daily missions which I explained in my uh, exploring level 30 video this is the area you're probably going to be living in, in the Dark Zone. If you can group up with people, then that's great because you can sort out a farming pattern around the actual Dark Zone and you can maximise your actual loot grinding because you can run through. If you've got something like four different areas and you've come up with a bit of a map to get around them as quick as you can, if you're grouped up with people, then you can really, really farm the crap out of, uh, farm the crap out of this area pretty damn quickly. Before I jump into actually showing you the Dark Zone though, I want to just go into the perks and the talents because once you get up to level 30, if you haven't been doing your side missions, if you haven't been doing your encounters, all that kind of stuff, make sure you start doing them because if you go over into your uh, attributes, doo -doo -doo, which are somewhere, I forget where, there's, a, there's uh, where are they? over here though, in your abilities so once you go into your abilities and then you go into your uh, perks once you start unlocking all the areas of the base there are actual certain parts that are going to give you better um, inventory space for dark zone items dark zone items take up their own inventory space which is indicated by this symbol here what you need to do is you can only carry a certain amount of items you find in the dark zone extract them once you've extracted them come back to the base and then you can pick them up and then use them until that point you can't actually use them until they've been extracted keep that in mind you start off with six inventory spaces for the dark zone but through the uh, perks you can actually increase this up so definitely worth doing all your encounters and everything which are indicated by the different coloured symbols on the map. So you've got your green for the medical, blue for security, yellow for the tech. Do them all. If you come across them, just do them. It's going to take a couple minutes of your time. It's worth doing because you'll unlock a certain amount of points uh, for your whatever wing supplies. These supplies then start unlocking different areas of that uh, wing. So when you first get into the dark zone you will be in a little safe area with a vendor like I am showing you here. I'm just jumped on my map quickly just to mark where I am going. Always make sure before you actually venture off out into the dark zone though you use the restock box because you run out of ammo so damn quick in the dark zone because mobs do take a bit of a battering in here. When you do get out actually into the world of the Dark Zone, you will notice that mobs are either a purple or a yellow. There's named mobs here as well, and these mobs are difficult as sin. The further north you go in the Dark Zone, the more difficult they will become. They start actually going up in level as well. I did come across level 32s at one point, and they do a buttload of damage. And for some reason, they seem to be a little bit more organized than actually out in the real world as well. So just bear that in mind if you're playing by yourself. They are takedownable solo, but obviously if you are grouped up with people, they will be a little bit easier to take down. You should be able to take them down a little bit quicker as well. So these guys, because they are so difficult, there is a fairly good chance they are going to drop some decent gear for you. I've had loads of purple drops, loads of blue drops. I haven't had any high-end drops, the yellow drops yet, but I'm pretty sure they'll be dropping these as well so just keep farming best thing to do and the best tip i can give you for the dark zone especially if you are in a group is come up with a pattern around a couple of blocks so you're tagging a few named enemies you're getting as much farming as you can and grinding as you can done in the shortest amount of time possible if you can as well try and incorporate a chest or a contaminated area because they usually hold chests which i'll show you in just a second 
These chests do have a uh, chance of dropping high-end gear as well as the purple gear, specialised gear, and all the rest of it as well. So it's definitely worth doing. I think some of the chests do require Dark Zone keys though, which you'll pick up as you're playing through the Dark Zone anyway. Um, just be aware, if you do die in the Dark Zone, you are more than likely going to be dropping your keys. So try not to die because it actually is quite a bad thing dying in the dark zone so the less dying you can do the better really but that's what you need to be doing when you first hit 30 and you come into the dark zone come in here and just farm all the purple and yellow mobs this will level your dark zone rank up which will then give you access to certain items from vendors certain chests require a certain dark level uh dark level dark zone level to actually open them up as well so just bear that in mind as you're going through the more mobs you kill you're going to be leveling up pretty quickly to be honest I've only spent uh, maybe an hour or two in the dark zone I'm already level 14 15 so it's fairly quick really and that's after dying a load of times as well to rogue agents and just general mobs which does actually knock down your experience so that's another reason why dying is a very bad thing in the dark zone so the less you can do of it the better so here I've just picked up a load of different items. When you pick up an item in the Dark Zone, you cannot use it until you extract it. To extract it, you need to find one of the orange icons on the map in the Dark Zone, go and call for an extraction. It's about a minute and a half until a helicopter comes overhead and then you can literally rope your gear up. Go retrieve it from your stash and then you can actually use it then until you do that though you cannot use any items you find in the dark zone so if you pick up a load of items and then try and leave the dark zone you will just lose them you won't be able to use them and it will just be a lost item so you need to do it this way to get dark zone items out of the dark zone so you can actually use them they are really good items and they're definitely worth the time and the effort coming in here to actually farm them because they are really useful items you do get some pretty good gear in here fairly quickly as well because the mobs are so much more difficult they are they do have a higher chance of drop rates just another tip of advice though when you're on an extraction point which you're just about to see be aware of what other people are doing because other people will as you just saw there absolutely murder you steal all your stuff and then rope it out for themselves these guys were teamed up in a group of three, so I had literally no chance whatsoever against them, and I got absolutely destroyed here, so be aware. If you do go rogue, then a little icon appears above your head, and everyone and their mother are going to be chasing you throughout the dark zone, and I'm just showing you now what actually happens when you do go rogue. Literally everyone chases you, and it is a terrifying experience. If you've never experienced going rogue, definitely try it because it is good fun. But just be aware, if you die as a rogue, you will actually lose more experience, more Dark Zone credits, and more Dark Zone keys than if you weren't a rogue. So bear that in mind. If you're going to go in there and go rogue, just be prepared to lose stuff because you are more than likely going to kick the bucket. That's pretty much it for all the Dark Zone stuff though. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's helped a few of you out. As always guys, I will catch you in the next one.